The internet is a visual space. So when you're creating an online business, one of the best ways to convince people to work with you is to show them what you can do. This is something that you can and should do no matter what type of business that you're in. Portfolios aren't just for visual service providers. Anyone who offers any kind of service online should have some type of portfolio. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys some ways that you can showcase your work and your talent on your website so that instead of you having to talk about yourself and your business and sell your services, you can actually let your work speak for itself. I just got a message from a potential customer yesterday that said, trust me, you don't have to sell me. I see your work and I understand where you're going with it. I absolutely know it's worth it. So having a good portfolio really speeds up the process of convincing customers that your work is valuable and getting them to want to work with you. This video is part of my freelance business startup series and is sponsored by Wix, which is my go-to platform for having websites for my business and showcasing my work and my portfolio to potential customers. So use this link in the description down below to start making your portfolio and your website today. So obviously, if you're in a creative field offering creative services such as photography, video, or design, you're gonna have a lot of media that you want a place to show people. But even if you're providing a service that isn't so visual, like maybe voiceover work or virtual assistant work or marketing, there are still ways that you can demonstrate your work in a visually appealing way. Even if you've never worked with a client before or never been paid for your work before, you should still have a portfolio. So if you're just starting out in your business, I suggest that you just hire yourself to create what whatever kind of sample work you want as a demonstration of what your capabilities are when you will be working with a customer. I recommend having minimum three, maximum 10 portfolio pieces on your website. Um, I wouldn't suggest going over 10 because you really want to narrow it down to only your best work. And if you have way more than 10 portfolio pieces, that's great. But having 10 is still a lot and will still show that you're very experienced in what you're doing. And even 10 is a lot. Having too many portfolio pieces, in my opinion, doesn't really add value. So just narrow it down to your, your favorite ones. So basically think of your portfolio as if you're creating an art exhibition and you're the artist and you're gonna pick your favorite works of art to put on display and for each one of those past projects, you're gonna have some kind of visual and some kind of title and description that details what made the project special and what was your part in the project. And doing this will enable your potential customers to visualize the result and the benefits of working with you. So I'm going to show you how to add a portfolio page to your website, or if you don't have a website yet, I'm gonna show you how to create a portfolio website completely from scratch using Wix. So let's go ahead and head over to Wix and start making our beautiful portfolio website. Just gonna log in. So if you wanna create a brand new portfolio site, just click create new site, click portfolio and CV, select edit a template and filter for portfolio suggestions. Then click edit for whichever template you think looks nice. But since I already have a website, I'm going to edit my site brittanynew.com and just add a portfolio page to my existing site by going to the menu over here. Click manage pages, add a new page, and we're gonna make this portfolio its own page. And that's so that we have enough space to put everything we need all in one page. Be sure to make sure that over here, the URL is gonna be portfolio. That way, if you wanna direct people directly to your portfolio page, it's going to be like your website.com slash portfolio. And we're just going to go to add and we're going to add a nice little strip at the top. And this is where you can write the name of your page, which is going to say portfolio. Make sure that everything is in your branded fonts. As we talked about in my last video about branding and consistency. Now we're just going to add a gallery. So here on Wix, there are a lot of galleries that you can choose from. There's all different styles and you can choose whichever one you think looks best, but I'm going to choose this one. And that's because it already has the text visible on the images because the way that we're gonna build this portfolio is by adding images of your work and then adding text to that work. So now let's go ahead and add the photos of the work to the portfolio. You just click add image 
and then you can upload your media from your computer. I already have my logo designs and ebook designs ready to go. So we're just gonna add these to the photo gallery. You can select all of them and then delete the ones that were in the default gallery. And now we're just gonna write a title for each image and a description for each image that describes the work that you wanna have in your portfolio. So again, this is gonna be highlighting what your involvement in the project was and highlighting your capabilities on each project that you've done. Don't forget to arrange your images in the order that you want them to be seen in the gallery. And go ahead and repeat changing the text for all the images that are gonna be in your portfolio gallery. And there you have it. So that's what the portfolio gallery should end up looking like. The text is all formatted nicely. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a second section to my portfolio. So this is good if you do multiple types of things in your business. So for example, I do graphic design and YouTube videos. So I'm going to add a video portfolio beneath my graphic design portfolio. So I just duplicated the title section And then I'm also going to make some space here so that I can duplicate the gallery too. You can either copy the existing gallery that you made or you can um, select a fresh gallery from scratch depending on what you want. I'm just gonna use the same one to have consistent formatting on both galleries. So then to add videos, I'm going to just delete the original photos and then I'm going to go add media video and you can just go ahead and put the link to your YouTube video or wherever your video is uploaded and it will just automatically do that. It'll have the right thumbnail showing, whatever the thumbnail is in the video player. And again, just go ahead and add a title, add some description text and you'll be able to present your videos. Okay, so one thing that you'll notice is that the thumbnail images are not formatted correctly in terms of they are squares and they're supposed to be more rectangles. So again, I'll show you what it looks like to select different types of gallery shapes, but for these videos, what we really want is that thumbnail orientation. So we're just going to select that setting that says fit and then it will fit the whole image to the shape. And that will make sure that the thumbnail shows correctly and you can see the whole thing. So now I'm going to add a button here that says, see my channel. And you can do this if you want to link to something else on the internet. So for me, I'm just gonna put a little link to my YouTube channel and make sure that the button has the right design to match your website. And then you'll be able to click on that and just get directly to my YouTube channel. And the last thing we're gonna do is I encourage you to add a button on your home page that urges people to look at your portfolio. So I'm just gonna write view portfolio and make sure to link to the portfolio page on my website. That way when people get to my home page, they're gonna have the opportunity to click that button and go directly to my portfolio and see my work. So if you click here, it will take them right to that page. They'll be able to see my graphic design and my video work. And if you click on any of the elements in the gallery, you can see it bigger and you can play the videos and you can even click the arrows to go to the next portfolio item or the last portfolio item and get out of the full screen mode. So that's it. And that's how you can set up your portfolio website using Wix in just a few clicks in just a few minutes. So I hope that those tips helped you and you guys have lots of ideas for putting your portfolio together. There is a stigma in the graphic design world that graphic designers 
really just take a lifetime to put their portfolio together because it's such a big and daunting task. But don't let it take over your whole year. Just get it done in a couple days, you can do it. And when you use Wix's platform, it's really all set up for you to just upload the images and write the text and everything else is really done. So it really doesn't get better than that. In the description, I have linked a worksheet that you can use to start brainstorming what you might wanna put in your portfolio and to help you put it together using Wix. Thanks to Wix for sponsoring this video. Be sure to use this link in the description below and you can get started on building your portfolio today. It doesn't have to take a year, just, just do it. <laughs> if you found this tutorial helpful, then I'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos on freelance business tips, traveling and creative tips. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.